It should have been a three-round event, but it was reduced to two rounds. No play on Saturday because of the funeral of Diana, Princess of Wales. Well, Michael Murphy leading after the first round with that 69. Brian Waits and Tommy Horton on 70. And Fury, Polland and Creamer, the only other players under par. Blustery on the final day. Joining me in commentary, Warren Humphreys. And long putt for Townsend on the sixth. That's his second birdie of the morning. He birdied the third, dropped a shot on the first, but Townsend at one under. Well, Ian Richardson did well at the Marriott Goodwood Park Seniors event uh, last week. He won it. And he, too, early among the birdies. That at the fourth to go to one under. And no seniors leaderboard is complete these days without Antonio Gurita, Warren. Yes, fifth on the money list at the moment, and his thoughts must be with son Ignacio Garrido, of course, playing his debut Ryder Cup in a couple of weeks' time. J.R. Delish, who knows how to win. He's won in the Rocky Mountains. He's won in Long Island. He's been the rookie senior pro in Philadelphia. A long putt up the tier. Urge you to go in, and it does. Number one, that's what he is. Played 12 events so far this year, £109,000 Tommy's won. That's an average of £9,000 a week. And he just keeps that form going. Another birdie at the sixth. Through seven holes, Tommy Horton has taken a three-shot lead. I tell you, it's quite exposed at Newmarket, and that wind is blowing very strongly. As Delish on the ninth. Par three. 138 yards over water. And getting that to bite very quickly in a tough left to right breeze. Horton second at the eighth. Can he reach the green? Delish did. Setting that high and trying to turn it round over the top of those trees. And, well, maybe a little unfortunate. Just caught the downslope of the bunker and has made the ball career through the green, but he's not far away from the hole. Looks like another birdie coming up for Horton at eight, as Delish goes for a birdie at nine. Oh, well, <laughs> rush of blood to the head there. Back on the ninth, Murphy. It was a local policeman, Charlie Keith, who thought up the idea of building a golf course here back in 1987. Well, this is the Hawks Hill. They've now got a second golf course, also designed by Dave Thomas, the Swearland. A marvellous golfing complex, augmenting the already excellent courses they have up here in the northeast of Scotland. Now, JR. <laughs> but not from Texas. From Milwaukee. Bogey the last hole, but birdies the tenth. Oh, that's a good reply after a three putt. So he now back at two under. Horton and seven under. Delish two under. Rhodes, Shabalala, and Waits at one under par. It's looking good for Tommy Horton to score a fourth win on the senior tour this year. The flag at Fivey Castle at half mast. Uh, in remembrance of Diana, Princess of Wales, there's been a castle on this site since the 13th century. And the five towers are said to represent the five families who have owned it, the Prestons, the Meldrums, the Setons, the Gordons and the Leiths, and they say it's haunted. Well, Fivey Castle is inland, but down by the sea at Cruden Bay, the ruins of the old castle, silhouetted in the moonlight, may well have inspired Bram Stoker to write Dracula while on holiday. No horror story today for Tommy Horton. He's enjoying a fairy tale final round in the Scottish seniors. 399 yards. And a real up and down round for the American. Three birdies, four bogeys, an eagle. And just letting that one drift away to the right hand side. Horton parred the 11th. Here he is at the 12th. 428 yards straight into the teeth of the wind. Uh, quite a tight drive. 
trees down the right, rough left. JR, just this little chip from off the edge, but maybe going to use the putter like Shabalala, trying to run it through the longish grass. But he's judged that beautifully. This goes to show, don't always have to chip it. But, uh, Tommy won't be looking at that. He's uh, down the left hand side of the fairway. Got to draw this around the trees. Crisp hit. Nice. Sponer to the hands play. And look at that. He's going to very quickly get back the shot he dropped at the last hole, his 12th. Tommy Horton, 16. Now he has hit a good drive around the corner, so this very much in range for the Jersey man. He's already had seven birdies on his card. Oh, nice kick, too. Two putts for an eighth birdie. No one's going to stop Tommy Horton today. Delish. Quite a bit of water on the golf course. Yes, plenty of ponds and rivers. So the players have to negotiate on their way around this beautifully designed Newmarker course. And how about that for some control? Brian Waits has had an eagle. Delish has had an eagle. Can Tommy get his on 16? He can indeed. Oh-ho! And Tommy Horton with a big smile moves to 10 under par. And Mick Murphy's shake of the head. He's not seen anything like it either. A wonderful display to the greens and on it as well. Well, we know the result of that, walking briskly after it, right down the flag once again. I don't think he wants this round to end. Two pars for a 64, a birdie at a par for 63, two birdies for 62. For Horton, as Delish, for a closing birdie. Oh, and that's not dead. And all these putts are very important. Three times Tommy's won this year. Four victories he had last year. Certain to get another one here in Scotland. And what a way to finish. That's 16,660 pounds first prize destined for the man from Jersey. Tommy Horton, who's chairman of the PGA European Seniors Tournament Committee. Tommy Horton, this for 62. Yeah, yeah. What a round by Tommy Horton. He's the number one earner on the senior tour this year. And victory here this week, ensuring that he will remain in number one spot at the end of the season. Just two more events to be played. And last year's number one will again be number one this season. Tommy Horton finishing on 12 under par. Winning by nine from Delish. And the only other players under par, Roca, Rhodes and Murphy. Tommy Horton hoping that he'll be back here again in 1998 to defend the title. And perhaps hold on to the cup he's receiving from secretary Gordon Gray.